<laughs> I swear it worked. Everybody and welcome back to more hardcore. Uh, and as promised, oh, hang on. Uh, as promised, oh, uh, along with some lag, we have some new mods. I have installed Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, uh, Applied Energistics, uh, Mechanism, Tinker's Construct, and Spartan Weaponry. Is that it? I think that's everything. Um, some mods I've used before, some mods I have yet to use before. Uh, I'm gonna go get some diamonds so I can make a quarry and never have to come down here again. Uh, <laughs> I just need three. I legit just need three. And, uh, at some point I'll set up a digital miner as well. But I, I just need three diamonds and I never have to come down to this mine again. Because uh, I can just mine out in the ocean uh, using quarries. And yes, that is a strategy. That is a strategy I've used basically every time I've used that mod. Um, but yeah, new mods. And uh, that should hopefully uh, give me some time to do other stuff. I might even have some diamonds spare. But uh, I don't know. Oh, I also need these. I'm glad that I found some of this just on my way. Uh, I need some lapis for uh, land markers. Do you believe I need lapis? Yes, I need lapis and redstone. So I'll get some of that while I'm down here. Uh, but I, I need that for... Uh... Hello. I already got you. Uh, I need that for my quarries so that I can make them bigger. Hello. Well, that at least makes one. And we're on our way. <laughs> An eight vein! Yo! Now useful. Will I get the Megaloceros? Oh, that's exactly what I just got. Will I get a second one? Nope. Will I get a Dilophosaurus? No. Yeah, that's all the gold I need. Oh, yeah, and because industrial craft. Oh, no. <laughs> Nuclear fuel. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I miscounted with the gold. Or no, I need I need another eight. I'm smart. I don't have a problem. Two gears. Two gears. Three gears. Redstone. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Now, I know that this can mine out a uh, two by two of chunks. So we go to F3G and uh, we forget our cobblestone. So, uh, here is where we put our first land marker. 
Uh, I'm also going to punch the, the hole in the side now. Might as well. And put the. Aha, uh -huh, pipe dream. Uh, this is also probably going to. Uh, so I can still move. <laughs> yeah, not ugly at all. This would be good. Okay, and we can double check. Yep, that works. Alright. Then two chunks in this direction. Really glad sharks aren't hostile. Place this down and right click. Yep. Two chunks. Or four chunks. And this is why I use quarries. Because this whole uh, two by two of chunks is going to be able to be mined out in like nowhere near the same amount of time it would take if I was to just try and mine this out by hand anyways. I don't know why I like doing it so they all turn on at the same time. But they do. Okay. And now, this will cause probably a lot of lag. Um, but... It's also going to build this frame all around it. I should probably connect. I should probably connect this up. Before it starts drilling. And uh, ordinarily in a quarry, um, this would uh, start digging and go all the way down to bedrock, but it will stop if it hits lava. It will dig around the lava, but it will not dig the lava itself. Um, so by doing it with uh, water, you then also get the opportunity to get some obsidian. And I use these because even when these heat all the way up and they are moving at maximum power. Oh, and there it goes. Uh, but yeah, even when these uh, heat up and start, you know, going red, these don't explode. Uh, but combustion engines, which are the most efficient, they do explode. going to be a lot of gravel for right now but eventually this is going to be uh producing stone and stuff <laughs> it's going to produce more than just gravel um the only real danger is that it could potentially fill both of these and then i need to add more chests that's, like, the most dangerous thing. Really, the worst part of it is going to be the fact that nothing is going to be sorted for right now. Uh, because ordinarily, like, in an efficient uh, whoever's build, you would uh, separate off. So you'd have, like, unsorted uh, continue going through, but then throughout you would have diamond pipes. Uh, which act as uh, sorters. So you, by the time it gets all the way to your chests, 
everything is uh, running on different lines and is totally sorted. Um, but this is just uh, just starting to dig, and it's gonna have a lot of gravel to go down, a lot of gravel and a lot of dirt. Oh, uh oh, something I didn't think of. Building it so close, it could potentially flood my basement. But look, the first resources are about to get there. They're about to do it. They're gonna get into the chests. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, we have resources coming in. Not many, but they're there. And another thing an efficient builder would do is uh, about uh, here, I uh, would break this and replace it with a gold pipe uh, to speed this whole thing up. Uh, but I'm not going to get more... Actually, wait, hang on. Don't I, ha I have the gold. What am I doing? I have the gold. Do I have any... I do have more glass. Da -da 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 and this also needs a redstone torch. That is a fishing rod. I can't place. No. And yeah, as expected, this is causing some minor frame rate issues. And, yep, that's going to start speeding some stuff along uh, a little bit. Can't remember how far gold pipes go. Oh, not very far at all. They used to go way further than that. That was not worth it at all. <laughs> They used to, one gold pipe would go like 16 blocks or something like that. is going to end up killing my PC with all these entities moving through here. Oh well. Well, that's getting a quarry built. This should hopefully uh, give some diamonds in time and will definitely give some iron gold and something else. And also might spawn some nightmares from the depths of the caves below. Um, and also, I put it this close the first time purely because I am slightly short on resources. I'm not going to build huge factories or anything. Um... Maybe. I, I might. I don't know. Uh, I kind of doubt it, though. I, I don't really want to build, like, a massive factory to just uh, produce all my resources and auto-craft and stuff. I just like using these as a way to get diamonds easier. Uh, I can't wait to use the... I. What I really can't wait for is... Uh, when this, if this mod ends up getting to 1.19, and you can use these to get all the way down, uh, this is basically an express route to an ancient city, uh, if this will be able to mine through Deep Slate, which it probably will be, since that's where the new diamond spawn is, um, 
But yeah, this will be like a freaking express route down to the ancient cities. Especially since, as well, you can uh, get the same result as doing this in an ocean with the protection from lava. You can get the same exact result by just pouring a water bucket in, like, the corner, and then it'll uh, go all the way down, and just because of how water behaves, uh, it'll slowly but surely fill the entire ravine. Or, ravine? The entire quarry. And then when the quarry's done, you can just uh, pick the bucket up, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this, uh, I'm actually gonna let this run as well, I'm gonna have the game open in the background while I just do stuff, <laughs> while I'm safe in my house, actually, is that a bad idea, that could, that could end up resulting in this poor guy's death, my cat just started freaking out, Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. You see, this is why I should have got a herbivore first. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you all in the next time, in the next one. Uh, this has been a productive video, thank God, finally. A <laughs> uh, productive video, slight showcase of buildcraft. Um, I would, once again, I would let this run all the way down to Bedrock, um, and then move it, like, four or five times, because this, this is just, this is just to get diamonds. This is so I don't have to spend a lot of time mining for diamonds on camera. I can just use, like, ten of these just spread amongst the oceans, all collecting to a giant island in the middle. And I'll see as well in a creative world how many chunks I can actually uh, mine at once. I know the maximum, I think the maximum side length for these is 64 by 64. I think that's the max. It's, honestly, it's probably even more than that. I just can't remember. Uh, but yeah, that's all for this time. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm going to have to edit this later. I'm really... I, I have a headache. Uh, <laughs> but I'll see y'all later. Um, I, I also... I have uh, some weird shifts this week, so I'll be able to do more videos that are longer instead of having to do the occasional short ones. But anyways, that is all for this video. Um, next time, uh, I think think I'm going to, uh, next time I think it's time for the nether. Oh, how joyous that's going to be when I go to the nether. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.